Hello friends. Welcome to my channel. This is a special course for newbies of Adobe Photoshop CC. If you don't know anything about Photoshop then after watching my all tutorials you will become a professional. Before we start I will give you three advices. Number one. Watch the complete video don't skip any part. Number two. Watch the complete lessons don't miss any lesson as all lessons are most important to understand the things. Number 3 and the most important part. After watching the lesson do practice at least one or two days. Let's start our journey hope you will enjoy. Welcome to lesson number 1 of Adobe Photoshop. There are two version of Adobe Photoshop. One is CS stand for creative suite and another is cc stand for creative commons you can download and install any version according to your pc configuration but i will suggest you to install the cc version for learning as you can see that here i am using cc 2015 let's start with a new document to create a new document click on new button or go to file menu and select new and choose the default Photoshop size and press OK. You can also press Ctrl plus N to create new document. When you will open the Photoshop first time that should be look like this. On top this is called menu bar. First let me set the layout, you can also set as you want. To move the window from the main layout just click, hold, and drag the window. Let's first see the tool menu. On top this is called move tool or arrow tool. The shortcut key to select the move tool is V. There are two options in move tool I will tell you later. This is called rectangular marquee tool there are four more options, elliptical, vertical and horizontal. Below this this is called lasso tool. It has also two more options. Polygonal lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool to make selection. Below this there is another selection tool called quick selection tool with another tool named magic wand tool. Below this there is a crop tool. With the help of this tool you can crop the canvas easily by moving the selection points up and down. The crop tool also have three more tools perspective and slice tool that I will explain you in next tutorial. This is called eyedropper tool it has five more options 3D material, color sampler, ruler, note and count tool. After this there is a spot healing brush tool with four other options healing, patch, content aware and red eye tool. Below this there is a brush tool with three options. Pencil, color replacement and mixer brush. And this is a most important tool. The clone stamp tool with another option the pattern stamp. This is history brush tool with art history brush, not so important as. This is an eraser tool to erase the things with two more options. Background and magic eraser, I will tell you how to use these erasers. This is color gradient tool with paint bucket tool and 3D material drop for filling.
This is called blur tool it has also two more options sharpen and smudge tool. This is dodge tool with burn tool and the sponge tool. And this is another very very important tool the pen tool. It has four options. Freeform pen. Add anchor point. Delete anchor point and convert point. Then there is a text tool for adding and writing the text. And then path selection tool with direct selection tool. Below this there is a shape tool with different shapes like rectangle, rounded, ellipse, polygon, line and custom shape. In custom shapes there are some default collection of different ready-made shapes that you can use in your projects easily. hand tool to move the canvas then the second last tool is zoom tool to zoom in click on the canvas and to zoom out press and hold the alt or option key from the keyboard and click again to zoom out With this three dotted line you can edit the toolbars manually. You can make new shortcut keys for the tools and you can also change the keyboard shortcut key of any tool. The final thing in tools menu is color selection tool. There are two options for color selection. The top one is to set the foreground color and behind this, to set the background color. You can reverse the foreground and background colors by clicking the arrow button. Now let's see what's on our right side. Let's start with layer panel. On the top of layer panel this is called layer blending option. There are so many blending options available in next tutorials I will show you in detail that how to use these options and how they works. There are some more useful options below. This is called layer style, it has some useful options that we will learn later. This is a mask tool. With this option you can add mask to the layers and this is also very useful. And this is called fill or adjustment layer. You can adjust different things with these options. And this is group option. You can make group of layers with this option as a folder to save the space in layer panel. With this option you can create new empty layers. And to delete the layers. Press and hold the left button of your mouse and drag the layer to the trash icon. Let's end our lesson number one here. I hope you will be understanding the basic things, in our next lesson we will learn how to use these tools one by one. See you in next tutorials, don't forget to subscribe my channel, take care.